Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. The number of new COVID-19 cases continued to hit record highs in BC this past week, with more than 5,400 new cases last week and 64 deaths. But despite this, so-called anti-maskers continued to make headlines for incidents across the province. Police have identified a woman who threw a Penticton liquor store employee's phone to the ground and allegedly spat at the employee over the indoor mask requirement. And a small business owner in Caledon says his staff have been verbally abused over the issue. A Walmart employee in Dawson Creek was also attacked this week by a man who refused to wear a mask inside the store. I have no time for people who are belligerent and are trying to make some sort of a statement about anti-vax and think that this is not, um, this is not a truly um, challenging pandemic. New illicit drug overdose numbers were released this week and BC is on track for its most deadly year ever. 162 British Columbians died from drug overdoses in October, 33 of whom were living in the province's interior. The new deaths bring the total overdose deaths this year to 1,386, but BC is on track to exceed 1,600 deaths if the trend continues. Kelowna has had 45 overdose deaths this year, while Kamloops has had 50. A longtime Kelowna eyesore was torn down this week. On Monday, demolition began on the former McDonald's at Harvey Avenue and Water Street. The city spent more than $2 million earlier this year to buy the property, which has sat vacant since the restaurant was closed in 2007. It's not clear what the city plans to build on the site. A Kamloops man who beat a teenager with a bat in 2016, leaving him with a serious brain injury, was found civilly liable this week as he continues to serve his prison sentence. On Monday, a BC Supreme Court judge ruled Christopher Teichreib is civilly liable for the damages suffered by Jesse Simpson, but the extent of those damages, and how much Teichreib owes to the Simpson's family, has yet to be determined. That will be decided at a trial in January. And the holiday season is officially upon us now, after Kelowna's Tree of Light was lit up on Thursday. It means so much. Uh, firstly, the funds raised from this incredible uh, initiative help so many people in our community. And uh, this year is, is another great example of that. Um, it means a lot to me, uh, so as the mayor, but it also means a lot to me personally because uh, fortunately, uh, over the last few years, my kids have had the great opportunity to be the ones to light the tree. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.